A Georgia ninth grader is getting national attention for not only winning the annual 3M Young Scientist Challenge, but for also inventing a device that could save lives. Quite simply, it prevents people from ingesting pesticides on fruits and vegetables. Sarish Subash is now being called America's Next Top Scientist. And we're so excited to say here he's with us now, 14-year-old Sarish Subash. Sarish, good morning. Thank you so much for coming on. Good morning. It's an honor to be here. Hey, it's an honor for us as well. Congratulations on this amazing project. I have to ask, how did you come up with it? So it all started when I was talking with my mom over some produce that we were washing. And my question was, why does it matter that we actually wash it? And how, what sort of an impact does it have on the produce? How effective is it? So I did some looking into it. And I found out that pesticide residues are one of a few contaminants that you'll find often on produce. And if we could detect them, we could make sure we weren't consuming them. Because pesticide residues can stay on produce even after multiple rounds of washing. So how is this device able to detect the pesticide residue that you just mentioned? So it works on a method called spectrophotometry. Now what this means is that it uses different ways that light interacts with different chemicals to look for different chemicals on the produce. So each chemical reflects different parts or wavelengths of light, and that creates a spectral signature, which is basically a catalog of what wavelengths are reflected back. So PestiScan can look for those wavelengths that are reflected by pesticide residues on the produce. And we're reading more about this. It takes about two seconds to get a result. You've done 800 trials. Someone doesn't win one of the country's premier school competitions without an early fascination in science, Sarish. What sparked your curiosity? When did you notice, hey, I think I, I'm really interested in science? So this, is, this was actually a long while back, but once I started reading more books, my parents actually introduced me to a couple of science books. And one thing that I really enjoyed about science was how it connected everything together. And I thought that was really cool. I was able to see quite a few more documentaries. There was one in particular that really brought me into this because it showed how connected things were from biology to engineering to everything that we do in the real world. And that's what really brought me into science. Well, I saw it as a really interesting way to satisfy my curiosity. I see that, and I think you're so cool. We know this prize comes with $25,000. How do you plan on spending that prize money? So I'm planning on using it mostly for college, but I would like to use it as well to further projects like PestiScan so I can innovate to help solve real-world problems. You are an incredible young man. What do you do for fun, Suresh? Okay, so there's... A couple of big things that I do for fun. So I like to read a lot. So I read science fiction, some nonfiction books as well. And I enjoy reading. I also enjoy aviation. And there's a couple other hobbies I have as well, such as origami. Yeah. Origami, very cool. Any good fiction suggestions, please send them my way. I'm looking for a good book. You've already made a name for yourself, especially with publishing two books before you even turned 13 years old. What's left to accomplish? What's next for America's top scientist? Yeah, so I want to continue developing projects like PestiScan and eventually get them out to the world, to the market. That's one of my goals for PestiScan, to get it out to everyone. Sarish Subash, we are so excited to talk to you. I can't wait to see what you do next. Thanks for coming on. And we know your mom, your family are rightfully so proud of you. Thank you again. Thanks for having me. Of course. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.